Time for a little science and Jeff Stevenson here from the Imagination Station. We're going to work with density this morning and just see how dense we can be. Exactly. So um, next week is our tabletop science, which I is kind of a science of the Thanksgiving giving table so like science you can do at your dinner table so cool. very cool you can come in next week and learn about we're not actually open on Thanksgiving Day but you can come before and after and learn some cool little science tips and tricks and things you can do to impress your family members you may so. want to get out there early next week if you're gonna if you're gonna button those uh, tricks down before well, the Thanksgiving that's, feast that's probably a good idea so um, I brought some soda pop on okay. special occasions my family would let me drink soda like on holidays and things like that so I figured um, why, why don't we go ahead now and is it little... pop or soda I, I call it so uh, it's pop. It's pop. Uh, it's pop. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend any in the area. It's it's just it's it, it, Ali says it's not so we, we, we can we can get into this debate later. We're we doing some we're could. doing some uh, we're doing some carbonated beverage science. Okay. okay so that's what we're doing. You see now um, he's using science to outsmart me. Uh, I don't know about that. We digress. I gave you some diet carbonated beverage over okay. there and I'm using some regular carbonated beverage. So what I want us to do is I want to put them in our tank of water and just kind of see what happens. I would think no difference. So you can see that my uh, regular Pepsi has actually sunk to the bottom while your diet Pepsi has floated to the top. But if you look at the cans, that they both have 12 ounces, or the, the 12-ounce right. 12, 12 cans. So why does one sink and one float? What, what could be in my regular Pepsi that's not in my diet Pepsi? Sugar. Sugar, right? So how much sugar do you think is in a regular Pepsi? I, I'm going to say like, too much, which too is much? why my like, parents like, never let me drink the, it either. Like this, like, would this be too much? Is this too much? Really? Or like actually more like this much? There's actually 41 grams of sugar inside of a can of Pepsi, right? So all of this sugar here adds to the mass of the soda. Okay. But they use uh, an artificial flavor in diet soda called aspartame. You mm -hmm. need very little bit. I'm not saying aspartame is any better or worse for you, mm -hmm. but you need much less of it to get the same sweetness level. So okay. it has less mass inside of it, even though they have the same volume. So if it has, this has more mass and the same volume, it's going to be more dense. That's fascinating. That yeah. is a really cool experiment and uh, very visual and health conscious yes, as well. You've exactly. just reminded me how oh, much yes, yes. sugar now, is in Now, now what's, what's funny is we can actually change the density of our water okay. um, by adding more mass to it, just like how you added the sugar to the soda and it got sure. more dense. But if you, you have a salt container there. I do. And I've got one. Try not to get it on the cans necessarily, okay. but we're just going to add to the density of our water here and so we're adding more mass it's going to be in roughly the same amount of volume because it's all dissolving in there okay we get all of our cans you can see our pepsi can is starting to actually float so i don't know if they can see that at the yeah. front i'll try to scooch it to the front here there we go yeah but what i did is i changed the density of the water have you ever been to the beach and noticed that when you're swimming you feel maybe a little bit more buoyant, but it's because the water is actually more dense in the like in the, in the ocean. In the salt water. In the salt water. I don't know. I tend to sink like a like a uh, like a rock. Like, anyways, a, like so. a regular Pepsi can. Like right? a regular like a Pepsi, Pepsi can. can. All right. So this is really cool tabletop science you can do. Right. Um, you can do lots of little soda tricks and straw tricks. We're doing that Very all week. Cool. But I figured since we're on the news, we could come over here and we could kind of amp it up a little bit. Okay. Right? Why not? So I'm going to give you a bowling ball. Hold on to that. Bowling I'm not ball very for good a at bowling. So. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not. We don't. We don't do a lot of bowling at Imagination Station. And I, ha I have a pink one. Right? Okay. This is, my, this is my bowling ball of choice. And so um, what we're going to do is I'm going to set my pink one down in here, and they're they're both the exact same circumference because they have to be. Um, Certified for bowling leagues. Okay. Right? Same with the soda, right? How those are the same volume? Sure. Th these are the same volume. So if I put my bowling ball in here, really heavy, right? It's going to do what? It's going to sink. It's going to sink. Okay, so let's try it out. I have to be careful because we don't want to smash through a tank right here on your, uh, 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 on your stage here. Naturally. All right. So mine sank to the bottom. Not very surprising, right? No. So why don't you go ahead and try yours? Be, be very careful. Oh, oh, you're even using the finger holes here. And. Wait is a minute here. It's actually not sinking, right? Even pu push down on that. Like, it, it's actually really... There's some serious buoyancy there's, there. There's some real buoyancy there. And wh what's going on here is this pink one weighs 12.5 pounds. Okay. Yours weighs um, eight, 8 pounds. Okay. So the magic limit is 12.5. At that point, a 12.5 bowling ball is about the same density as water, so it's, it'll kind of float, sink in there a little bit. But this one's definitely going to sink. This one's definitely going to float, even though it's a bowling ball, right? You wouldn't want to get hit in the head with this. No, you certainly want it. It's the same reason like aircraft carriers, even though they're made of tons of steel and iron, yeah. they float, right? Right. Because they just take up a large volume for that mass. Right. So I'm taking up a large volume for only eight or nine pounds. Very cool.
Isn't that really, isn't it, you would not, this would, would be a new not, bath toy. I would right? have never have imagined that a bowling ball would float, but that's a good analogy too. Yeah. Why could a, you know, a, a heavy shipping vessel exactly. that's full of heavier stuff actually float as well? So we don't do rubber duckies at Imagination. We do bowling balls, all right? That's, that's, how, we, that's how we do science. Always taking science bigger and better. All right, Jeff, anything else uh, going on Just next Imagination Station next week, your tabletop science? Tabletop science next week, doing all kinds of other little at-table mm -hmm. science things you can do. I don't know if you have bowling balls at your table. I but, don't. You know. No. So. Mythbusters also been a good success, too. Mythbusters has been amazing. It's one of yeah. my all-time favorite exhibits. Cool. I'm a huge Mythbusters junkie, so if you haven't seen it, come check it out. All right, Jeff, thank you so much. Plenty of fun at the Imagination State.